Hey guys, here is the Samsung Galaxy Beam, the projector smartphone from Samsung which was launched in the month of July 2012 and in this video we are going to do a detailed hands on review. So let's just check out what all comes in the package initially. The phone comes with a battery charger, a micro USB cable and two sets of 2000mAh batteries along with the projector phone. So let's just check out the phone first. So here is the phone which comes with volume rockers on the left as you can see here there is the same slot wherein you can insert your sim card on the top you have the projector on the right you have a projector dedicated button a power on off key and the micro SD card slot on the back you have the LED camera with flash and on the bottom you have the slot where you can insert the power cable or the micro USB slot cable so that's what comes with the, on the phone now let us just insert the battery first and now let us just boot this up for the first time So the logo comes up Samsung Galaxy Beam GTI 8530. This is the first hands on review happening in India and that is only happening at Android devices. So let's just begin. Sadly, the phone comes with gingerbread OS while all the other smartphones which are being launched recently are coming up with Android 4.0 that is ice cream sandwich and since the Galaxy Beam is also priced at par with the Samsung Galaxy S2 and almost at 80% price of the Samsung Galaxy S3 it actually had to come up with the ICS which is what the consumer would expect but sadly Samsung has shipped this with the gingerbread so let us just proceed with the setup So here we are onto the home screen of the Samsung Galaxy Beam smartphone. You have seven different home screens, the different panes, and as you can see, this is the standard gingerbread home screen wherein you have the basic applications like the Play Store, that's Play Shop, which is listed here, Maps, Google Samsung App Store link, and there's a new application called Projector DLP. So that we'll be checking out next. And the applications, as you can see, we have all the basic application which come on, uh, on all the gingerbread based Samsung devices except this new application so that's what comes in this let us go to the settings and confirm the OS version so here as you can see it's Android 2.3.6 but again there's a new firmware update available which you can find it on, on our blog that is androidadvices.com so let's just first check out the camera phone comes with different settings for the camera so let me just show that to you this option to enable or disable the flash or go into the auto flash mode this option for action shot a single photo shot smile shot panorama and cartoon so that's what comes under shooting mode Wow, the device has already hanged here. Let's just move back. The device supports up to 5 megapixel image resolution that is 2560 by 1920. So let's just take a quick picture capture and check out how the final output is. So the output is pretty good, the 5 megapixel camera gives pretty good capture as you can see here. So that's the camera, it comes with video recording also. Recording mode, we have different recording modes like self recording, limit for MMS or else normal mode. And the phone supports up to 720p HD video recording. 
here and also supports smaller lower resolution captures so that's the camera part now let's just first go to the media and check out if there is some videos available so that we can watch that on the projector so yes there are a few animations available let us just initiate the actual application about which the phone is famous for that's the projector and get started with it press and hold the projector key to turn the projector on and off so that's the projector dedicated projector key here as you can see here so fine the tip is useful for us now you have different list of options here let us just go through them one by one so now the projector is actually on so let me just show the same to you so here is the phone and which is what we are trying to project it onto the screen so let me move back the phone and try to increase the size of the display and then whatever you see on the screen is actually replicated onto the wall or wherever you would like to project the same so let me just make it bigger and show it to you the first option says that you can actually focus and rotate the screens so let's say if you would go from the portrait mode to the landscape mode you can still set that option also and then you can use the volume rocker keys to increase the focus and adjust the focus actually to give the best get the best quality so here as you can see the screen is actually getting blurred let me just zoom into this and show it to you here and if we decrease the adjust the focus it actually gets better so that is how you can actually set up everything so overall we are pretty much impressed with the display which is shown on the wall now here we have different other options which are available and we will be giving you step by step information about the same so right now since as you can see the projector is on everything is being displayed onto the wall let me just play some file and show it to you the actual playback So overall the display is pretty good and if you keep increasing the distance between the wall and the projector the display actually increases so let me just show that to you.
Thank you.